On the 5th of July 1936, a mother was waiting for her 22-year-old son to return. But the son didn't return the way she expected him to. For his funeral, mother wore bright colors. The only sign of mourning was a simple black armband. The mother had asked specially that there should be no mourning and that there should be no ostentation about the burial of her son because she felt that he would not have liked it. Moreover, her son liked her to wear only bright colors. A simple cross of green leaves was laid on the coffin. It bore the inscription, Farewell Beloved. Mother. Inside the coffin above his heart, she placed a picture of her, which he invariably carried on his flights. Following his death, he was given a state funeral at St. Paul's Cathedral, Melbourne and simultaneously a service was held at St. Peter's Cathedral, Adelaide, where in his honour both Houses of Parliament had suspended sitting for the day. 100,000 people attended the funeral service, with mourners lining the route from St. Paul's to Springvale Crematorium. Ashes returned to Adelaide remaining there with his mother until her death in 1968. They both now at rest together, at North Road and Whippin Cemetery, at Collinswood in South Australia. Today my journey is to the suburb of Brookfield in the city of Melton, located 45 kilometres west of Melbourne CBD. Brookfield has some of the most beautiful houses in Melbourne where ordinary people live. Nestled between those houses is a reserve called the C.J. Jimmy Melrose Memorial Reserve which commemorates the memory of a young Australian aviator who was killed in an air crash on this site on the 5th of July 1936. There is a historical marker at the reserve to commemorate the air crash that killed him. The marker was erected in 1992. Near the reserve there is a memorial cairn originally erected by a scouts group soon after the crash. In 1986, the cairn was reconstructed by Melton and District Historical Society for the 40th anniversary of the incident. Though just 22 years old, the son was no ordinary son, and his death was a front page news in all Australian newspapers. Australia wept on that day, because he was young, he was energetic and ambitious though he was publicity shy. The hundred thousand people lined in the streets of Melbourne were a testimony to his popularity. The boy, his mother and the emotions of a nation are all forgotten and disappeared behind the curtain of the memory lane. Jimmy Melrose was born in Adelaide, South Australia on the 13th of September 1913. He earned his pilot license at the age of 19 and at the time of his death had already achieved worldwide acclaim as a record-breaking solo pilot. Most notably in 1934, Jimmy was the youngest competitor, only solo pilot, and only Australian to finish the McPherson-Robertson Melbourne Centenary Air Race from Melbourne to London. He flew a de Havilland Puss Moth named My Hildegard, after his mother, finishing second in the handicap race and winning £1,000 in prize money. On the 5th of July 1936, he was taking Alexander Campbell, a mining executive, on a charter flight from Melbourne to Darwin, when the plane in which they were flying broke apart in turbulent weather and crashed on the site. The land we call Australia today was once submerged under the sea. It has millions of years of history. Every footstep we make, the sand that crushes under it, has a story to tell. Some pleasant and some unpleasant like this one. But life must go on. <laughs>